In this video, we're going to deal with a little bit of a security thing. We're going to go over setting up a honeypot for people to log into with the admin, or at least attempt. A honeypot is a security thing where someone tries to log in because they think they have access and it's kind of a way for them to get into something, but in fact, it's actually a trap so that you can log and find out information about the people trying to gain access to your system without your permission. In this case, the Django admin is a potential place for people to use as an attack vector um, using passwords. The problem with having the admin on slash admin where it normally is, is people can look at it and see that, hey, you are using Django, and then they can start doing some profiling from there to try to figure out what version of Django you have, and then any type of security flaws from there. Using the Django admin honeypot, uh, gives them the illusion that they have a normal admin and they can start playing with it and trying to gain access all the time they'll never actually get access to your site but it'll log every attempt they make and then you can go in and figure out what you want to do with that information from there so with all that in mind let's go ahead and take a look at installing and using Django admin honeypot first thing let's do is let's look at a working site we'll just jump into our browser after we do our run server we'll go to our admin of our application and we'll just simply log in we just get into our site normally and we're on the slash admin URL and it works exactly like you would expect so now if we'll go out and we'll do a pip install of Django admin honeypot it'll do its normal install process and we're ready to start using it first thing is let's edit our URLs We'll go to our URL patterns and we'll just set in our admin URL. We'll include the admin honeypot.urls, set the namespace to admin honeypot so anything can use it that it needs to. And then and now it's immediately going to start using the admin honeypot package for uh, the honeypot situation. The next thing we want to do is we want to change the URL of our existing admin we're just going to change it to crazy admin because no one would actually expect it to be that URL. Next step is let's open up our settings file and we're just going to go down to our installed apps and add in the admin honeypot Django package so that we can start using it. And that's it. That's all there is to setting up and configuring the admin honeypot package. Now we'll just do a quick little migrate and it'll run the migrations so that every time somebody attempts to log in, it records that result to the database. So now if we'll go to our browser, we'll go to our slash admin and we'll try to log in and we just get, hey, it, it didn't work. And it looks like a, it's a normal uh, error and no matter what we put in, it just won't work. Try it again, it didn't work again. So now if we'll switch over to our crazy admin URL, and we'll attempt to log in, we get in. Note we're still in the crazy admin URL. But at the top of our admin, we have this admin honeypot with login attempts. If we'll go in and click on that, you'll see there was two login attempts. You see the IP address, if they had a session, uh, so that you can see if one of your current users are trying to do it. It has when they did it, and then the URL that they were trying to access. But that's it, that's all there is to adding this little extra layer of security to your website and be able to see what's going on and be able to potentially audit it. And if somebody's trying it a lot, you can go in and just kind of ban that IP address in your Nginx config or however you wanna figure out how to do that. So with that, I recommend you set this up with every site because it's super useful and isn't really all that hard to do.